What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Backyard Smoke. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how we make Al Pastor on the Weber Smoky Mountain. It's going to be fun cook. We're going to go step by step on the marinade, the slicing, the grill prep, the setup, the pineapples, the whole nine. It's going to be a lot of fun. So I welcome you guys to come on over and uh, have some fun with me and my son today. Have a good one and I'll see you guys upstairs in the kitchen. If they like it, they'll tell them to subscribe. Subscribe. If you like the video, subscribe and push the red button. We have salt and pepper. And pepper. We have sesame. We have some guajillo chili powder. Daddy, what is this one called? That is pepper. Oh, I'm allergic to pepper. No, nobody's allergic. You just sneeze. I just sneeze when mm -hmm. I know that seasoning. Yep. This is cumin. Human. We have half a onion, one bay leaf, three cloves of garlic, and we have a cup of orange juice. In the water, we have our anchilo chili peppers that are just rehydrating. Everything smells good. So Lincoln is going to help us today. The first thing that we're going to do is put the orange chivo in. Actually, first we're going to put the orange juice in. Oh. I'll put that in first. We have one half cup of orange juice to start. Then you can put the sasson in. Oh, sorry, that's cumin. Go ahead and put the cumin in. Don't be afraid. There you go. Then now I'm going to do this by myself. All right, salt and pepper. Good job. And the yes. We'll put the sasson in. Okay. That makes me get all of that in. That's good stuff. This is the guajillo. Guajillo. Chili powder. Good job. Let's tap that in there. Good stuff. Then onions. Yep, we'll throw the onions in there and the garlic. And what we're going to do is blend all this up. While you're doing that, I'm going to get our pineapple juice ready. Okay, D do this in it too. Mm -hmm. put, I put the leaf in. Yep, just one bay leaf. While you're doing that, I'm going to pour in one cup of pineapple juice. Okay. Go ahead and put all those onions in there. Throw it still garlic. Yep, throw it all in there. You okay? Yeah. Makes it cry a little, huh? Let's do a little bit faster. Okay. There you go. Good job. Now are we going to blend it? First we are, but first we have to take our peppers out. So. Uh, cut, cut the corn off. We have to cut, cut them into little more pieces. We have... Smoky pepper. Uh, that is sesame. Oh. What we'll need this is, is apple cider vinegar. The reason that we're going to use apple cider vinegar is because this uh, paste is very bitter. And in barbecue, apple cider vinegar always goes well. We're barbecuing today? We're actually going to barbecue this tomorrow, 24 hours. We're going to let it sit. Oh. So we'll use... What's that? That's about half a cup of apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar? Mm -hmm. That's juice like that? Yep. And we're going to use three and a half ounces of the paste. Oh. Throw this in. All right. I'm going to mix Now, it. actually, I'm you're going to mix, it. buddy. Oh. So you're going to turn this here. I'm going to hold it, and you're going to turn it. So here we have a bone-in pork butt. You can use boneless, but add a good dip on the bone ends. Then want to pass it up. 
So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and slice this up in about quarter inch pieces. First I'll need to find that bone. We're not gonna do any trimming or anything. Kind of pat it down a little bit. Get some excess stuff off. We're gonna leave the fat cap on since we're gonna yeah. slice it really well. So, so the bone is right here. So, you can see the bone right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start on this side. Cut off a few small pieces here. So now that we have all the meat cut off of the pork, we're going to go ahead and place it back into this uh, aluminum container and we're going to start to marinate. Marinate. So, make sure our nose is open. Daddy. Yes. I need to paste that some more. Uh, later. Okay. So we're going to throw some on top here. We're not using a cup. Nope, so we're going to throw some on top here. And then we'll throw some meat on here. Do so. Go right ahead, your hands are clean. Okay. That's enough. And then we'll throw some more on. today. Yep. So what we're gonna do now is now we got it in there. Just gonna take our hands here. Yeah, go on, get your hands in there. Be gentle though, don't splash it. Just wanna just Maneuver this in there. Make sure okay. we get it all covered. Okay. Oh yeah, that looks good. Oh yeah. It smells good too, doesn't it? Yeah. The milk, the chicken milk, better than before. Nope, this is pork. Oh. It's pork, pork shoulder. Oh, pork shoulder. Yep, pork, pork butt. How do you want to call it? Wherever you're from. Okay. How's that look? Look all red. Yeah. Our hands are a mess. Let's go wash them. <laughs> Come here. Alright, so we're back 24 hours later and we are setting up the coals, getting the Weber Smoky Mountain set up. The little ones out there playing, having some fun. So we're going to get this cook started on a Friday afternoon. Actually, sorry, Friday morning, it's like 11 a.m. So let me guys, let me show you guys what we got, how we're setting everything up. So we got a little bit of coals here in the um, chimney and they're about, well, I'll say about three minutes from ready being ready. We're going to take them over here and we got the snake method set up in the um, Rubber Smoky Mountain and then we're going to show you guys how we're going to hang this out past door, kind of like a trompo from the, uh, that they do down in Mexico. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's get this bad boy set up. And I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna set up the uh, trompo, hang them on the Weber Smoky Mountain, and get this cook started. So we're gonna throw in a chunk of apple wood right here, just for some extra smoke flavor. And we'll put another chunk kind of out right here. So when these coals burn, they'll burn, and we'll just keep it going. All right, so we are back, and now we're going to go ahead and get the meat prep. So let me show you guys what tools we're going to be using today. Here we have the uh, ring for the uh, hanger rack. You've seen this on my last video. I'll link it up there where I hung some ribs. Well, we're going to use this today to hang the al pastor. Uh, the way it works is we're going to put it right on the Weber kettle. Sorry, on the Weber Smoky Mountain and it's going to sit around the diameter of it we have the weber 18 inch and we use the 30 gallon attachment from gateway drums secondly we got these skewers from pit barrel um, we got a pack of 15 inch and 18 inch today we're going to use the 15 inches i like these 
because the bottom of the skewer hangs really well and we could really put the pineapple on here so also got some hooks I'm gonna hook it up basically just like this and hang our meat right over the coals so let's go ahead and get started we're going to get some things going set the meat up smoke's already going pit's coming up to temp nicely once that evens out around 275 we're going to go ahead and hang this meat but let's get to the fun part so the first thing we're going to do is get our pineapple set up got a fresh pineapple here we're just going to cut the top off because we don't need this And we're going to cut the bottom off. Pineapple. Pineapples. And we're going to cut the bottom off. This is going to be our bottom. What we're going to do is put this right through the bottom of here and that's gonna be the bottom of our skewer it's going to pull some juices in we're gonna cut another piece off at the top here probably about halfway and that's gonna go on top of our meat so let's go ahead and clean all this up and then we'll get ready to stab the pineapples and get some things going Okay, so we are one hour into the cook. Things are looking good. Everything still looks juicy. The fire looks wonderful. Let me get you guys down here. Yeah, I've had stores looking wonderful. We've got some coals. We'll probably add. We'll probably be adding on some more coals a little bit later if the fire gets too low, but right now everything is looking good. So we're gonna let it sit and I'll bring you guys back when it's all done. All right, so we're sitting at the three hour mark. Pineapple's pretty much dried, smoked out, not too bad. Coals are still burning. We have a nice crust. It's looking really good. We tempted it and we're sitting at about 1.30, so we'll keep it going from there. Put the lid on, let it smoke. All right, so we finally got the Al Pastor off. It looks good. We're gonna use our new knife today. Just cut off. And as you can see, these pieces fall off super tender. Go ahead and get to a piece, buddy. What do you think? The meat is moist, it looks great, has a good char on it. So I'll give you another piece right here. Mm. Little man, you want another piece? Yeah. It's good. So good. Daddy, it's good. Go ahead and get one. 
So guys, tell them Lincoln. If they like it, they'll tell them to subscribe. Subscribe. If you like the video, subscribe and push the red button for the Poo For the I don't know what the Poo is, but you want more videos like this, push the subscribe button, like the little man said, and we'll have some more coming out. Thank you guys for watching. Be blessed.